Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. Habita fillah, very important for, as a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters uh, to reflect on the hellfire. And that can be a source to make taqweef, you know, to cause us to have some fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps it will be a means to jar us to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or remove ourselves from some of the sins that we're doing. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with success and with tawbah, tawbah to nusuha. Uh, listen to this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam which talks about, uh, you know, the sifa, uh, the characteristics of qiyama and the hellfire. Uh, عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه عن عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إنه ليأتي رجل رجل عظيم سمين يوم القيامة لا يزن عند الله جناه البعودة اقرأوا فلا نقيم لهم يوم القيامة وزنا أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه he narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that verily a man will come on the day of judgment, a man who is, uh, you know, who, who's fat and large. Uh, he'll be brought, he'll come on the day of judgment and uh, he will not uh, weigh to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even the weight of a mosquito's wing. And then it will be, uh, and then he said, meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, read or recite the ayat in Surah Al Kaf, uh, then they will not uh, be, have any weight on the day of judgment. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Imam uh, Abdul Aziz al Rajihi, hafizahullah taala, he mentions in his explanation of Sharh uh, Sharh uh, Sahih Muslim, the explanation of Sahih Muslim, uh, this hadith, and he mentions, he says, in this hadith, it shows that with Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, and the place in which we should be observant of uh, is that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not uh, a person's body. So it's not their physical appearance. He said, He said, Verily, it is the heart and the deeds. He said that if the heart, you know, is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has taqwa, and it's naqiyya, it's pure, and with righteous deeds that are done strictly for the pleasure of Allah, or strictly for the face of Allah azza wa jal, then the... Uh, the, the, the scale will be heavier. The scale will be heavier, meaning that you have righteous deeds and that you have a clean heart and you have, you have taqwa la'iza wa jal. And we talked about taqwa many times. We said taqwa la'iza wa jal. This is uh, for the servant to do the commands of Allah and avoid his prohibitions. That's taqwa la'iza wa jal. And so for the one who comes with this, his scale will be heavy on Yom Al-Qiyamah. And there's so much adillah in the Qur'an to show this and in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he says, in, uh, he says, وَأَمَّا إِذَا كَانَتَ الْأَعْمَالِ غَيْرَ الْخَالِسِ لِلَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ أَوْ كَانَتَ الْقُلُوبِ غَيْرَ تَقِيَّةِ وَفِيهَا فُجُورِ so he says, and so this is the other one, that if the person comes on the on Yom Al-Qiyamah and the, their deeds are not done for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their hearts 
are not with, do not have taqwa. You know, they don't possess taqwa. And they possess fujur, wickedness. Then Allah will not look to them. And then he said, كَمَا ثَابَتَ عَنَا نَبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ قَوْلَهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَنْظُرُ وَلَا صُورِكُمْ صُورِكُمْ وَأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ يَنْظُرُ وَلَا قُلُوبِكُمْ وَأَمَالَكُمْ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, so he said that if the, this person has a, a, a wicked heart, then Allah will not look to them. As is mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, in which he said that verily Allah does not look to your physical form or your wealth. But rather he looks to your hearts and your deeds. So this shows us the importance of purifying our deeds and cleaning our hearts. Doing good and righteous deeds. And as uh, Imam Arajihi mentions, he says, this hadith, he said, Dalilun ala anal ashkhas yuzanu wa anal a'mal tuzan. He said that this hadith is evidence that a person will be weighed on the day of judgment and that their deeds will be weighed as well. So it's, it's very imperative, Ahabat Tafillah, that we try to clean ourselves up. And that is a means for us to escape the hellfire. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.